Learn from your reactions. Learn from your reactions. See, what do you react to? How do you react? Are you a reactionary person? Do you fly off the handle? That reminds me of a little illustrative story of the fly at the picnic who uh, was flying in and out of the fields, back and forth, landing on cow patties, getting his feast out there off the off the cow patties, filling himself up with all of that, and found out people were having a farm nearby, in a farm nearby having a picnic. So he flew over there. And he landed on a handle of a pan at the edge of the table. And he was so heavy that he knocked the pan off, landed on him and killed him. The moral of that story is Don't be full of crap before you fly off the handle. How do you react? You need to learn to let your reaction guide you. And see, as soon as I say certain words, I'm telling you guys, the Lord helps me and fills me up and, and, and shares with me truth. And when he gives me an idea and he tells me, just go make a video real quick of it. I was in the middle of studying, working on our coaching program, making some tweaks. And he gave me this thought to run with. But as soon as I begin this thought, all kinds of other stuff come into my head. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. see if I can run with this for just a little bit but our emotions are God given all the happy emotions all the sad emotions all the angry emotions um, the excitement the depression you know whatever falls under the emotional umbrella God gave them to us. We are emotional beings. And so therefore, that thought by itself, that reality by itself, does not make emotions wrong. But we have to learn to deal with them properly. And how we deal with them or don't deal with them is where the sin comes in and the problem comes in. So let's deal with our reactions. How do you react to things? And letting those reactions be a guideline for you in letting you see your true emotions, letting you see your true agenda, letting you see your true motivation, letting you even see sin in your life, letting you acknowledge the fact that you're justifying things that you shouldn't justify, all those things you can learn from how you react. So this thought came today simply simply by putting a piece of scripture on a social media post. And I tell you what, quoting scripture or simply stating a truth of God will bring out the worst in people. 
It'll bring out the good in, in a lot, but it really brings out the evil and the wickedness and the wrong motivations and the wrong justifications for, for what people do and why they believe it and why they do it and how they justify it. Just one simple truth stated about God, one simple Bible verse will bring that out of the woodwork. And every time I do this, which this particular thing in one respect is why I do not do this that often. Because when I do, I can easily spend the next two hours in a social media debate and answering questions and, 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 and clarifying and, and dealing with stupid comments that are taken out of context. And I, and I fight that because I want to be a good soldier of Jesus Christ. I want to fight the good fight. And I want to take the effort, even though limited, to try to help enlighten people's eyes. But what causes you to react and how do you react? And can you use your reaction to help you get clarity? See... God can work in the darkness. God created out of darkness, and he made light out of darkness. And he can use the darkness and the stuff that's in us and the ugliness that's in us to help us create things, help us see things, help us understand things, and bring things to light. But are you willing to deal with yourself? When you see that, are you willing to be honest about the motivation and the justification in your life? And there's a gamut of things to deal with out there, and I try to deal with them all. But for this particular video, for example, the issue is divorce. And God's very clear. He makes the statement in his Bible, God hates divorce. And I posted that on a couple Christian social media platforms. that are surrounding, that are based upon biblical, godly marriages that do not believe in divorce and remarriage and that are is a support group for those of us who are standing for our marriage and restoration. And just that simple statement, God hates divorce, brought out all kinds of people justifying it. Now, there may be three particular justifying it. There's all kinds of debates around the topic. And that's for another video. But how did you react with the very thought, the very hearing of God hates divorce? And again, the course of this video is, how do you react? Can you use your reaction to help you? Do you always get offended? Okay? If somebody calls you out on something, do you just get mad? Do you just bow up? Do you just justify why you do what you do and, and why it's okay with what you do? Whether it's somebody saying something about, I'll say some things that might spark some interest, that uh, you spend too much time watching sports. You're not faithful to church. You have a bad attitude a lot of the time. I saw you do something uh, yesterday, and I'm wondering about if that's really the best thing to do. Is you're responsible? Who do you think you are? I don't do what I want. You ain't my judge. Is that the attitude? Listen, all, 
all people that have a problem with this particular issue, they know them, but they know those Bible verses. Judge not lest ye be judged. They know that verse. Don't walk with God. Don't read his Bible. Justify their lifestyle. And react. So let's grow up a little bit. Love me. Go to the scriptures. Look at yourself. Be honest about yourself. And figure out what are you justifying in your life. And use the reactions that you remember or the reactions that come up when certain things are said to you or you see a sign or you hear something or see something and it causes you to <clears throat> and you instantly get into defense mode. Start using your reactions to help you understand who you really are and increase your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and to keep your eyes on him. I know this helps. I hope it helps. If you want to get further and farther in your life as a Christian, um, as a successful Christian, as a uh, take it to the next level, as a as a businessman or as a minister, you're you're struggling with things in your life, in your marriage. You've been divorced and you struggling with that and you still stand for your marriage but you need help yeah you're emotionally all over the place and you need some help and you want to get further faster then comment below send your emails ask your questions send your phone number reach out to me nine seven zero six nine seven zero two three two um or my email chris huffman five one three gmail and we'll have a talk. We'll call. We'll see what program uh, is good for you. We've got programs and books uh, that'll help you. That'll help you. I, I teach to men. I preach to men. They're my audience. Uh, but I want to keep putting this content out as God leads me because I know it's good. And it'll help you. So keep staying tuned. If all you ever do is watch my YouTube stuff or my short videos on TikTok, wherever you see this stuff, it'll help you. So like and subscribe. Keep your eyes, like I always say, on him. But I got the cross behind me. Amen.